Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine if you're new and today we're in my kitchen I am going to be cleaning up my pantry that's here behind me It's gotten out of control and I really need to get back on keto and back on track and I can't have this stuff in the pantry So I wanted to clean it out and I wanted to show you how I'm gonna do that and what I keep in my pantry for keto and the things that you do not want in your pantry and the things that you want in your pantry let's get into this video if you're not subscribed already please make sure you hit the red button if you are subscribed already hit the bell so you're notified of all my upcoming videos give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share it with your family and friends and let's go well, this is what it's looking like it's looking like a hot mess in here we have all our baked goods all of our vitamins a lot of junk we gotta get rid of a lot of stuff in here. And I only wanna keep the things that are gonna keep us on track. <sighs> Wish me luck. And I'm definitely gonna need a stepping stool. So I'm gonna start with the top. I'm gonna take everything out. Now this is the pile of the stuff that I'm gonna keep and I'm gonna keep all the stuff I don't want on this side. Top is out. Here's the okay pile. I'm actually still working on it. Taking this out because this is seven grams for every one tablespoon and it's really not worth it. There's a different way to thicken things up. This is the no pile so far and I'm actually going through our travel stuff. This is stuff that we take like when we go out of town. So I'm gonna clean this out because that's where I found the cream of wheat and we definitely can't have that anymore. So I'm gonna go through this. Cane sugar, definitely not okay for keto. I know this is some protein powder. This is okay. The PB2 is okay and the chili powder and paprika with cinnamon is okay. So I'll put those back there and we will store that with the good stuff. Things like powdered creamer, sugar. I'm gonna keep things like this for our guests because obviously not everyone that comes to our house does keto. So sometimes they want creamer or sugar in their coffee and I wanna make sure that I have those things. Now I'm gonna start putting everything back. And the things that we do not use on a regular basis or the things that are not keto, I'm just gonna keep up in the left-hand corner. That way it's out of sight, out of mind. Everything that's cool, bring that stuff forward, send that other stuff back. The sugar, cane sugar, some tea. Our travel stuff can sit in the back. And this is some like, extra tea so i'm gonna put it behind the tea in the back let's keep going now that's empty just gotta clean it off and put everything back this is everything that was like smushed into that shelf which makes it really really hard when i'm baking things or when i'm trying to get things ready i can't find anything most of the time and it takes me forever i'm just like scrummaging through bags so i need to find a new system for this now i have some containers like these that i can use right now and i actually found some of these that i kept from like salsas or from like coffee i might just do that you know just put some of these things in these containers to make it easier label it it'll look prettier it'll be easier to find let's see what i could do so let's first put back all the stuff that we are not going to take out of the containers only the stuff that are in bags is what i'm really trying to take out but things like this like the protein powder i'm actually just going to put it back in the pantry as is so I'm gonna do a little cleaning. I'm using the pledge since it's wood. I don't wanna damage it. This is gonna clean it, give it a good smell and a good shine. Put back the liner after you've cleaned it off and start putting everything back. I like to keep liquids separate from powders and try to organize that way. When I'm looking for something, okay, I'm looking for a powder, it's on the right. 
or like if my husband asks me, hey, where's the protein powder? Oh, it's on the second shelf on the right. I already like know because that's how I have it organized in my head. I know everybody uses stevia, but I really don't like the way that it tastes. Every time I put it in something, I hate it. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing wrong, why it tastes so weird, but I will figure it out. So now I have everything that is not in bags already in the closet. This is all the stuff we are working with. Here are all the containers that I'm trying to put everything in. So because we have a lot less larger items in the back, I'm going to work with those first. So I'm gonna push all of this to the side and start with the stuff that I have the least amount of. Almond flour is gonna need a bigger container than the coconut flour. This one for the coconut flour. I wanna empty this out. I'm gonna empty it out into a mason jar. Make sure your hands are clean and you push that cocoa powder down. So it definitely didn't fit all of it in here. So I'm going to set it aside and see if I change my mind about it. Moving right along, I'm going to do the almond flour. I closed off the end and just kept one side open. Trial and error, guys. But I'm still making a mess, so just a heads up, it is going to get messy. I find it easier to keep things like this even if you're using more than one container for each item because it's easier to store, it keeps things fresh, and it looks nicer. I'm going to do the same thing to the cocoa powder too. If you want to be a little neater, you can use like a spoon. Trial and error, guys. Trial and error. Hey, that works. Way better. Yay. Here you have a label maker ready or some labels and a marker and label as you go so you don't forget what's in these containers. So here's what we're looking like so far. I labeled most of those containers with the label maker. I even used some containers that I was actually getting rid of, like the blue one. Then this one, the yellow one, was for uh, cornstarch, and I actually put that in a Ziploc to give it away to family or friends, whoever uses it, and I kept the container. Repurposing containers because these are really expensive. I'm using what I got. What I did is I labeled each one, and then there are more of those back here. Those two are the same as these two. So I kept them in the back and then in between, I kept the stuff that I don't normally use on a regular basis, like the shredded coconuts and the coconut flakes. I kept them in their bags because I don't use them that often. And the husk, I actually use for breadings. Now, this was a fiber or benefiber container. I emptied that out because it was expired. I got rid of it and then I kept the container and just used it for the husk. Everything else is for baking cakes, pancakes, cookies, fat bombs, workout stuff, our protein, our pre workout, post workout, and these little things are for us to put post workout powders in and take them to the gym. And this is the next one, and this is just teas, some band-aids, this is a mask that I love, and this is just a bunch of like food items like Parmesan cheese, this is actually sweet, a sweetener for tea, so I'm actually going to get rid of this. Some tea, more tea. And then these are our vitamins. I actually split it between me and my husband. I am the AM and he is the PM. We only take vitamins once a day, so I figured this is fine. And it's been working for us for a really long time. So this is what the second row is looking like so far. All of our vitamins are in these containers and these are from Dollar Tree. Let me show you. 
So the most used items are on the top and then the least used items are on the bottom because it is closed right there. You're not able to like grab everything. You can grab a few things like the small ones on the edge, but definitely like that bigger container, you can't grab it but we don't use those that often, so it's fine to keep them on the bottom. The smaller items, these are like hydrocortisone and like ointments, things like that from like my country and Mexico, uh, Neosporin, some toothpicks, some cough drops. The smaller items, I like these little red containers and these are from Dollar Treat as well. The next one that I have to tackle is this and this is where it's gonna get a little crazy because this is a lot of junk food right here. A lot of stuff I don't use anymore, things that need to be organized. So let's get into this section. Now this pile is getting bigger. There's the bigger. junk pile. This is pretty much what I'm gonna get rid of. Like I said, I'll be giving most of this stuff to family, even though a lot of it I will be throwing away, like the candy canes, this open bag of chips, things like that. This is some of the stuff that we are able to eat, but I did pull it out so that I can condense it. Like I do have a few bags of these open chicharrones, so I am going to combine them in like a Ziploc to take up less space. And here's what it looks like, combining all three bags in one. So far, here's what I'm working with, with the two rows. I did eliminate a lot of stuff. I did take out a lot of stuff. There are a lot of things I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep the sugar just for guests. I'm also gonna keep honey, uh, balsamic vinegar, things like that, tomato sauce. A lot of stuff that I might use in case guests do come over. So I'm leaving that on the bottom row. I'm gonna reorganize everything. And here is what I purged out of the cabinets. Here is everything that I kept. So starting in this corner, I do have some pumpkin puree. I do use some pumpkin in my pumpkin spice like latte and whipped cream. We got tuna on hand, some chicken in a can, coconut milk. We got chicken broth in the corner back there. We also keep pork cracklins and chicharrones on deck. Some pistachios, these are really high in carbs so I only have a couple. A little bit of beef jerky. And then this is seaweed. We have the snack size seaweed and we have the large sushi roll seaweed. I use them a lot in our poke bowls. So on deck, some peanut butter, tapatio because you know I'm a tapatio as bitch. Some lemon, olive oil back there. This is peanut oil that I use to fry. I have a few types of vinegar, red wine, white wine, Worcestershire sauce. Down here is where I keep the almond milk because it's pretty heavy. Also some chips for our guests, some cane sugar to keep on hand, some iced tea back there in case anyone wants some when they come over, uh, balsamic vinegar, and then we have some pasta down there in case I ever need to cook for a guest or anything like that. We do have some canned goods down here. Some of them are keto, like the diced tomatoes, the tomato sauce, all that stuff I can use in moderation to make it keto but I don't really reach for canned goods like this other than these canned goods. So keeping them down and away from you, not only is it convenient because these things are really heavy, but also it keeps it out of the way. I do have some gum here. I do treat myself sometimes to some gum. It does have carbs, so I limit myself. Some honey, these are the chilies that I use for different recipes, so I keep them down here because it is a tall container and that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your family and friends. And don't forget to subscribe. It is that red button down there. Make sure you hit that red button. And once you do, hit the bell so you're notified of all my upcoming videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video. 
let me know down below what you are getting rid of out of your pantry and thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye